A promising situation is currently unfolding within Kensington Palace. Just a few days ago, the majority of people worldwide felt compassion for Ken Middleton's cancer diagnosis. However, today this situation has changed, and I would say that the sense of guilt has diminished to the point where the United States has become the toughest country against. As Ken Middleton's circle says, they claim that the British monarchy is seen as ludicrous, and I would like to share what El Confidential newspaper highlights, which is quite brutal. Meanwhile, British tabloids remain silent. American media have launched a full-scale attack against the Windsors. They call it the rebellion of the New World against British imperial pomp. It is well known that Americans view monarchy and royalty as truly embarrassing. They consider it humiliating that in the 21st century such institutions should even exist. Americans are not at all monarchic. And yet, in Britain, especially since the death of Queen Elizabeth, the affection for the monarchy has been declining gradually among citizens. Now, pay attention because what I'm about to tell you seems to be a significant problem, especially for those currently holding the throne, namely King Charles and his son, the heir to the throne, Prince William. According to a recent cover of the American magazine Star, a dying Prince Charles of England tells his son William what everyone knows because we've seen the magazine's cover several times on TV, and it says he's not ready to fulfill his commitment to the crown. In fact, I believe it has been proven that William is not prepared, but this article speaks very harshly about how the American media are treating the British monarchy. They treat them with disdain, as if they were complete lunatics who should gradually disappear, and are a bunch of unwelcome individuals with significant problems, not only on a familial level, but also with addictions. All the recent covers of American magazines are tremendous. Star Magazine, Enquire Magazine, among many others, I can tell you that all of them highlight the big problem between William and Kate. And this is where I want to get to. If you're watching, to your left is the cover of the National Enquire magazine, which says William and Kate in Divorce Talks. Well, William and Kate talking about divorce talks, and then it says what the palace is hiding. Well, not only are William's problems in assuming the throne being discussed here, being labeled as a complete failure, which is how they are calling him, but they also label him as a failure, as a person who, despite having the best schools to study and his commitment, which should be intact with the crown today, it's not like that, leaks like you won't be a king, supposedly pronounced by King Charles himself, speak very harshly about his son, a person in whom he should have full confidence because he is going to inherit not only a reign, in this case being the King of England and the Commonwealth countries, but also because King Charles of England does not see his son having any commitment to his work, not even preparation. Therefore, it is more than evident that he has decided to return to his institutional duties prematurely and an official trip, an international state trip to Australia in October, has already been planned. But the article doesn't end here because it talks about a recent cover in the American magazine Star, a father telling the son, you will never reign. And in the subtitle, they leak Prince Aldenudo's double life, anger attacks, and alcoholism. The king declares him unfit for the position, and there is still room for more information revealing plans for the secret funeral of King Charles. Well, these plans are certainly not very secret because, as you know, it's Operation Menai Bridge, which has been preparing King Charles's funeral since Queen Elizabeth's death, not because King Charles is going to die tomorrow, but because it is simply a protocol-related act with the monarchy and ensuring everything is in place, nothing more. Ruthlessly, although it's not the most crude cover about the Windsor crisis coming from the United States, Star newspaper also headlines panic in the palace, the end of the monarchy, suspicious suicide, medical crisis, and nude photo leak. And well, they were absolutely right. We don't know about the end of the monarchy, but there was a suspicious suicide indeed. The death of Thomas Kingston hit the British royal household like a bucket of cold water. 
In fact, shortly afterward, Prince William was absent from the religious service held at St. George's Chapel, attended by our King Felipe and Queen Letizia. Subsequently, the National Enquirer claimed on its cover that Kate wants to leave marital crisis, shakes the royalty, rethinks her life after serious health setbacks. Thanks to other National Enquirer covers, we also found out that Kate was hospitalized for a supposed eating disorder or that King Charles had six months left to live something that is utterly false, at least regarding King Charles. It has been verified that it is a lie because six months later he is still alive. But you see, this is what's happening in Great Britain. There is still a culture of open secrets and journalists hoarding information about the royal family and leaving small breadcrumbs for the public or remaining anonymous. But the most surprising thing comes now after all this. You see, they say welcome to the United States of tabloids against Kate William and the Windsors. When it wasn't even known that Kate Middleton had cancer on Fox News talk shows, they were cheerfully discussing her husband's alleged illegitimate children, heir William, while on Stephen Colbert's late-night show, they were joking about the future king's alleged mistress. The jokes ended when the lawyers of the alleged mistress threatened to sue the program, although the announcement of Kate's illness should have put an end to the gossip. It has only partially done so if in British networks, it remains at the core of anti-monarchical destabilization in the United States. Serious media have slowed down, but not the press, which when it smells blood, doesn't let go of its prey. But the most significant thing is that they clearly blame the reason why all this is happening. Foreign media have spread theories about Kate that would never have been touched. How is it possible that not even cancer has managed to stop the media circus? And they begin to enumerate the reasons, one being that the management of Kate Middleton's leave was a media disaster, the information lockdown generated digital anxiety and conspiracy madness. The royal household tried to quell rumors with photo montages, severely damaging its credibility, with the public more willing than ever to consume conjecture about the palace British tabloids have renounced their nature during this crisis although much of their business is royal gossip they did not join the Windsor gossip in an unusual exercise of institutional responsibility the information vacuum was filled by American tabloids among other things because they can afford it it is clear that Americans have a completely different way of seeing things and obviously silence in the United Kingdom is one thing but in the rest of the world it's exposed where the institution's tentacles cannot reach. Well, basically, the UK government can indeed intervene in what is being published in the UK. What happens is that, as is the case in many dictatorships, when something is published outside the country, it's uncontrollable for them, and it's a great effort to have to address all the problems one by one, especially internationally. I really believe that there is increasingly more commotion worldwide we're not just seeing a mere YouTuber talking about the real situation of the British royal household, but also a serious magazine, El Confidential, which is one of the most respected in our country, talking very coherently about American magazines that are completely destroying the image of the British monarchy. So it doesn't seem like something to be forgotten anytime soon. And there's just a headline, William and Kate, in conversations, Charles losing control of the crown. As always, I tell you, subscribe and see you in the next videos.